Hey guys, Diana Madison with our super fabulous Holly Scoop channel. We're talking about the hottest red carpet looks of the week. First up is Rihanna, and I love how she said, stole my look to Penguin. <laughs> Who got the look better, the Penguin or Rihanna? I mean, it's, it's a hard toss-up, the cute little penguin, Rihanna, but I'm always going to have to go with Rihanna. Yeah. She can rock anything. I love her. Yeah. Hands down. Power, hands down. Yeah. Riri, uh, what do you think? Riri, of course. I mean, she can make anything look good. She's wearing creepers. She brought them back, and she's also wearing, like, the flames up her sleeve, and it's just like, you know what? She can wear anything, a potato sack. She can look like a zebra. It doesn't matter. She looks bomb. She actually did that look. <laughs> So my look with a zebra, just saying. <laughs> and I'm sure she did. You know, I mean, the penguin was naked, and it's usually Rihanna who's naked. So I think it's, you know, an interesting <laughs> little uh, toss-up that she did there. So, I mean, I, I love to see Rihanna in less clothes, apparently. I think the whole world does. Rihanna, Absolutely. no clothes always works. Another woman that people like to see without clothes is Kim Kardashian. I, you know, she stepped out in the Donna Karen dress. We've also seen this on Jennifer Hudson. What do you think about the look? Um, it's... I'm a huge Donna Karen fan. I think it's an amazing dress. Um, I'm going to have to give it to Kim Kardashian. She just had a baby four months ago. She's in this body conscious dress that shows every single curve. She obviously is just so happy in her own skin right now and comfortable. So Kim Kardashian all the way. All right. What do you think? You just had a baby. I just had a baby three months ago, and I definitely think that there's something about becoming a mother that kind of gives a little bit of modesty. So for me, I thought that Kim's dress was a bit revealing. I thought she actually looked a little bit sloppy. So for me, Jay had won this. She looked really polished. It looked really great on her, and I just think she looked absolutely beautiful in it. What do you think? I think it was a gorgeous dress. I think you know the dress itself was amazing, but I feel like you know Kim. I I, I liked the cleavage. I you know I enjoyed the cleavage. It was all like, out. You know, all of the Kim's <laughs> seventy pounds that she lost went right to her cleavage. It's and the like Armenian it's, you know, in her. I can say it firsthand. I think she looks amazing. <laughs> Nikki Reed. She was spotted at the Bridegroom movie screening. I was actually there. This movie you guys have to see. October twenty seven on the OWN Network. Um, amazing film. But let's talk about fashion. Nikki Reed. I think it's pretty cool that she's mixing leather with lace. I kind of have that same pencil skirt look today. What do you think, Liam? Um, I thought she looked really great. I think you can never, ever go wrong, especially on the red carpet, with such a classic silhouette, especially like the pencil skirt. The only thing I wish she would have done is it just hits her a little bit in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. I wish it was hemmed a little bit right below her knee to really make the silhouette that much better. But otherwise, I think she was great. Great. Shanine, you? I actually really enjoy the leather and lace look. I'm not sure if I could pull it off, but I thought she definitely did. I love the leather piping on her shirt, and so uh, kudos to Nikki. I think she looks great. Jane, too? You know, honestly, I, I feel, you know, Nikki Reed, she, the dress, everything, you know, she just kind of bores me. However, I am very, very, um, you know, happy that so many celebrities came out for Bridegroom. Yes. It's, you know, it's a great project, and it's going to be an amazing movie. You're right. It's an amazing movie, and it's a tearjerker. You must see it. Okay, from the high school panel, thank you guys for giving us the red carpet looks of the week. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.